Hi garden friends, I just want to give you another update on my garden. It's been a few weeks and things are really moving around here. On the last video I told you I was having a hard time getting pollinators on my vines and that is not the case anymore. Now I have lots of cucumbers. So right here I can see eight or nine teeny tiny cucumbers and over here I've got one that's almost ready and another one that is ready and lots of pollinators and honeybees and same thing with my squash back here my watermelons coming in so I'm really excited about the vines they're really moving what I did to get more pollinators into my garden is I actually planted some really great pollinator plants that are perennial in the flower bed which have been bringing honeybees and other native pollinators into my flower garden and if you're wondering what um, you could see on the ground behind me, check out my last video. I talk about it extensively, but I just put down cardboard and mulch as a weed barrier. My okra plants are really rocking and rolling. This one's got a beautiful flower right here. And I like to have 10 or 15 okra plants in my garden because they only have a few fruit at a time that ripens. So you need a good number of them so that you can have fresh fruit to cut and cook all in the same evening. There's an okra. My tomato plants, um, the slicers are not quite ripe yet, but you can see this one. This is a Cherokee carbon. Um, tons of green fruit on this bad boy. It's going to start ripening really soon. Something I like to do with my tomato plants is I actually like to clean all the suckers and lower leaves off as they ripen so they can get to the fruit better and also to make sure that they're getting a lot of air movement into the fruit. Tomatoes can start to get um, really tight in those cages, hard to get to, and it can actually cause some mildewing and rotting with older fruit when they're all t trapped in that cage. So I like to clean some of those lower leaves off. So that's my update with the garden. Let me know what you like to do with your garden produce and if you have any other questions.